गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स और टूडे टॉपिक इज कॉन्जेनाइटल हर्ट डिजीजेज माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर अबाउट फीटल सर्कुलेशन आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट असाइनोटिक कॉन्जेनाइटल हर्ट डिजीज एंड दिस इज अ थर्ड वन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कॉन्जेनाइटल हर्ट डिजीज एंड विच इज साइनोटिक so yes how to remember the tetralogy of fallot this disease tetralogy of fallot is causes the transposition gate vessel aortic uh, coarctation your time going to explain and truncus arteriosus also i'm going to explain and uh, pul- total pulmonary uh, venous anomalous okay so tetralogy of fallot we can start the causes uh, which cause the tetralogy of fallot is include uh, dijord syndrome tetralogy of fallot caused by uh, dijord syndrome and uh, di george syndrome as i and i am going to write in this way dijord syndrome and uh, what else uh, it causes maternal pku phenylketonuria maternal pku and the transposition of great vessels it's mainly caused by dijorge also same dijorge syndrome seen in dijorge syndrome and uh, what else uh, uh, in diabetic mother in diabetic mothers we see transposition of great vessels but coarctation of aorta here t turner syndrome internal syndrome we can see such coarctation of aorta and uh, we can see in bicuspid by cuspid aortic valve aortic valve also and uh, we can see this in uh, bifurcation bicuspid aortic valve berry aneurysm also berry and you reason we can see turner syndrome bicuspid aortic valve right in case of berry aneurysm and in case of tetralogy of fallot what kind of murmurs here is systolic murmur systolic murmurs on upper left sternal border okay in transposition of great vessels no murmur we are going to listen no murmur but in case of coarctation of aorta also same systolic murmur in left axilla we are going to listen then pathology what is tetralogy of fallot why does it happen and uh, i already explained the normal circulation so see now i am going to explain tetralogy of fallot from here i am going to start this is pulmonary artery okay this is right atrium and uh, it's uh, tricuspid valve then right ventricle this is and this is the pulmonary artery pulmonary trunk goes in this way and uh, here it's uh pulmonary valve so what happens what kind of pathology here my dear friends there is pulmonary stenosis pulmonary stenosis and what happen here if there is pulmonary stenosis the reverse flow increases in right ventricle the pressure increases so right ventricular hypertrophy rvh occurs right ventricular hypertrophy the blood pressure increases here the size of these valves are also increases because working too much because right atrium blood drain in right ventricle and pulmonary stenosis so that's why reverse pressure here so there is a hole and this hole is known as vsd vsd ventricular septal defect this ventricular septal defect uh, between right uh, left ventricle there is a left ventricle okay and then this left ventricle uh, Uh, attached with uh, aortic valve aortic valve and aorta this is aorta so the blood came from right ventricle here and left ventricle already filling from the left atrium the blood enter in here and from right ventricle here so there is increase pressure in aorta so known as overriding overriding 
of aorta, overriding of aorta. This is the pathology. So what happens here? Right to left shunt. We are going to. I'm going to explain. This is known as right to left uh, shunt. Left shunt. See how right from here the blood enters here in the left shunt. So deoxygenated blood mixed with oxygenated blood it causes cyanosis. It causes cyanosis. First step is pulmonary stenosis. Due to pulmonary stenosis, there is development of right ventricular hypertrophy. That's why there is a hole here, VSD, and due to uh, in left ventricle, this blood drain and it causes the overriding of aorta. So, this is the mechanism, this is the pathology in the pathology of fallout. I hope you learned easily. Now, transposition of great vessels. There is interchange of great vessels, like I'm going to explain you from VC, right ventricle. Uh, there is a attachment of pulmonary artery, but in this case, there is attachment of aorta. It's a birth defect, aorta. And from left ventricle, this is left ventricle, there is attachment of pulmonary trunk, pulmonary artery, reversal. So it causes, it causes the cyanosis. So if someone want to leave, if someone want to survive, then we need to, uh, there is a opening of patent ductus arteriosus. Like this is uh, aorta and this is pulmonary trunk. So we need to open this ductus arteriosus and this is pulmonary trunk. So from the aorta, this is deoxygenated blood enters into the, this pulmonary artery trunk, oxygenated blood. Uh, here is deoxygenated blood enter into the aorta. So it causes deoxygenation. Okay. Uh, then coarctation of aorta. I am going to explain what is it. Coarctation of aorta. If you see this is aorta and there is bifurcation branches from aorta. If there is coarctation here, here it less chance to be survived. Less chance to be survived. If there is coarctation from here to here then what happens there is more chance to be survived and lower extremities this here is stenosis here uh, due to coarctation the less blood go into the lower extremity so what happens the pressure inside the upper vessels is higher and the lower vessels goes down lower extremities the pressure is less so this causes the coarctation aorta and what uh, happens here cyanosis cyanosis in lower side Cyanosis in case of lower side and uh, upper extremities high blood pressure high blood pressure in upper extremities Okay, so this is known as the coarctation of your tongue. Now I am going to explain how to diagnose how to diagnose diagnose all three together We can use 2d echo Echocardiography we can use we can use chest x-ray chest x-ray X-ray they like to ask and this we can stethoscope Stethoscope use and uh, what happens here uh, now like in chest x-ray uh, we can see in tetralogy of fellow boot shape heart on x-ray heart is looking like this like boot shape boot boot means uh, shoe shoe boot shape this is boot shape heart in tetralogy of fellow and uh, we can say uh, this uh, in CO you are core and sabut core and sabut also this heart and uh, transposition of great vessels we see the egg shape heart on x-ray egg shape heart on x-ray but in case these are the very important question they like to ask egg shape heart on x-ray finding seen in which disorder in transposition of great vessels and boot shape heart or core and sabut heart uh, seen on x-ray finding in tetralogy of fallout in case of coarctation of aorta there is overriding over coarctation of aorta there is rib notching sign 3 sign 3 we can see sign 3 i will explain you how sign 3 see this and this it causes on x-ray sign 3 we see and rib notching rib notching see on coarctation of your tongue and how to treat treatment here uh, we can use surgical correction 
in tetralogy of fallot and in case of transposition of blood vessels also surgical correction and reposition but in case of uh, and uh, we, if we want to open uh, this uh, ductus arteriosus we can use pgi prostaglandin uh, one in uh, like alprostadil alprostadil and we can use mesoprostol meso prostol to open this uh, ductus arteriosus make patent and here also surgical correction we can do uh, like anastomosis cut this part and i hope till here i already uh, explained everything you are going to receive definitely one question from this in examination now i am going to wrap and going to explain the two more cyanotic heart diseases which causes uh, the cyanosis uh, that is uh, truncus arteriosus and total anomalous pulmonary embolism okay so now i am going to write total total t anomalous pulmonary and uh, venous vtapv return what happens here i am going to explain you here this is known as the right atrium right atrium this is right atrium here drains inferior vena cava blood here it's superior vena cava blood but what happens here mistakenly the pulmonary vein which you need to drain into the left atrium left atrium uh, pulmonary vein but here in this total anomalous pulmonary venous return what happens this pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood drain into the right atrium this is pulmonary vein this pulmonary vein drain into the right atrium so what happens there is a asd atrial septal defect here and this blood goes somewhat in right atrium this is right to left shunt in tapvc also this is deoxygenated blood carries and it causes cyanosis so need to treat by surgical correction we need to correct by surgical and truncus arteriosus truncus arteriosus i am going to explain you okay this is truncus arteriosus very simple very simple what happen here this pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and aorta aorta together this is heart heart uh, like uh, this is right uh, ventricle this is left ventricle and the blood flow enters here pulmonary artery and aorta together combines to follow the, and distributing the blood so pulmonary artery blood goes in lung from this way only one trunk here only one trunk here and this blood then goes in aorta aorta also same it's only one trunk pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein same trunk that's why it causes cyanosis because deoxygenated oxygenated together and the syncope also hypoperfusion also altered mental status also so these are the disorders which causes cyanosis and need the surgical correction thank you my dear friends that's all for today this is my lecture i already explained so don't forget to watch fetal circulation first you have to watch then a cyanotic disorder you have to watch then this cyanotic disorder and definitely you are going to get three questions in exam if exam carries 300 questions then you are going to get 300 okay good night